Hello, and welcome to the Getting Started video for SQL Power Architect Enterprise Edition. In this video, we will show you how to connect to the server for your first time. The first thing you need to do to follow along with this video is download the Enterprise Edition from www.sqlpower.ca slash architect. Once you've downloaded the Enterprise Edition and extracted the zip file, you'll get a finder or other navigator looking like this. There are several files in this directory that are of interest to us. The first is the Architect Enterprise WAR file. This WAR file can be used with Tomcat and is helpful if you want to start up your own production environment. The other two files of interest is the serverstartup.bat file and the serverstartup.sh file. These two files can be used to start up the server through Jetty. This will allow you to start up the server quickly if this is your first time. The bat file is used if you're on a Windows machine and the sh file is used if you're on a Mac or a Linux. Since I'm on a Mac, I'll be using the sh file. To start up the server, I start up a terminal, navigate to the directory where the enterprise edition has been unzipped, and run the startup. Here is the server manager for the enterprise edition of SQL Power Architect. There are a few areas of interest for us the first being this large field at the top. This is your log, and any information that the server is trying to give you or errors will appear in this field. The other area of interest is the server home directory. The server needs to be able to write to this directory, so it's important to make sure the server has these permissions on your machine that you're running the server on. Now to set up the server, you simply press the start button. If this is your first time running the Enterprise Edition, it'll take several minutes for the server to start. When the server is done loading, you'll see the ready label to the right of the start and stop buttons. You'll also see a URL that you need to connect to the welcome page. If you're running from the machine the Enterprise Edition is on, you can simply click this URL. If you're connecting from a different machine, you can give this URL through an email or any other means to someone who wants to connect as well. Currently, we're just going to click it, and this will open up a web browser. Here's the welcome page for SQL Power Architect Enterprise Edition. On the left is server connection settings. These settings are required for you to connect to this server. You'll also need the default admin information for the first time that you are connecting. On the right is a launch icon. You can click this to start the Enterprise Edition clients so that you can connect to the server. If this is your first time running the client, it'll take several seconds or possibly a minute to download. However, we've already downloaded the client once before, so we simply have to allow it. Now that the client has started, we can connect to the server. To enter your server information, you go to the Enterprise menu, Configure Server Connections. Now we have to add in the server information. To do this, you press the Add button, and we need the information from the welcome screen. The display name can be anything you want, simply to recognize the server's name so that you know what you're connecting to. The rest of this information comes from the welcome page. Here we have the host IP. And the port and path have already been filled in for us. The username and password for our first connection is also on the welcome page and it's admin for the username and admin for the password. Before leaving this screen, we can test the server and everything's connected fine, so we should be able to use this connection. Now that we've created our connection, there are two ways to log into the server and make our new project. We can either select the server here and press on the login button, or we can go from the enterprise menu, which is the more normal way once you've added a server connection. Normally, once you've added a connection, you can go to the Enterprise menu, Projects, select your server on the left. If you don't have a license with the Enterprise Edition of SQL Power Architect, this dialog will come up to remind you that it's for evaluation purposes only. To get your own license, you can visit this link on the right. For this demonstration, we'll be simply skipping this and creating a new project. To create a new project, you simply press the New button, enter your project name,
and give the server a couple seconds to create your project. Now that the project we have made is appeared in our list, we can select it and press the open button, and now we're connected to the server. At this point, we can add in anything for our data model or anything else you would normally use Architect for.